What's up guys, Austin Newman here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about the time stutter effect, or as some may call the time skip effect. This is actually a really easy effect to achieve. You may have seen it in some of your favorite music videos or some of your favorite travel videos. Either way, I'm going to show you how to do the effect right now. All right, so I've got a fresh clip on the timeline here. I've got my audio ready to go. By the way, the name of the song is right here. I've got it linked below in case you want to practice with this song as well. So in this case, we're going to be using the audio glitch effect that's built right into the song, which is actually going to work out very well. In something like a trap song, then you would maybe use like a hi-hat or something like that. In our case, we already have it, so we're going to go ahead and find that one area. That area right there, and I think it starts right about here. So let's go ahead and make a cut with C on the keyboard. I'm going to go over one frame to the right using the keyboard arrows. I'm going to make another cut there. I'm going to go over two frames this time, one, two. Now the reason I went two frames this time is I've tried this two frames, I've tried it three frames, I've tried it four frames, I've tried it one frame. It works best with two frames for my clip in particular. So I'm going to be using that for this tutorial's purposes, but you can actually stretch this part out as long as you'd like. So I'm going to make a cut right there. I'm going to go over one more time and make one more cut. Let's go ahead and bring back up our selection tool with V on the keyboard. I'm going to bring back this clip, and then I'm going to take this middle clip here and I'm going to delete it. I'm going to bring these two clips together. I'm going to highlight both of them, and I'm going to hold down Alt and drag to duplicate them. Let me do this a couple more times. Hold down Alt, drag, hold down Alt, drag, and maybe one more. Hold down Alt, drag. Now let's bring back this other clip here, mesh them together, and we have this. All right, that looks just about right. Now there's one more technique that I want to show you for the second part, which is where she's actually repeating right there. So it sounds like she starts right here. So let's go ahead and make one more cut right there. And I'm going to bring this clip up. I'm going to stretch it out about four frames and then back it up. And that's going to give us another skip effect. So I would repeat this usually a couple more times, but you basically get the idea of it. It's really just cutting and stretching it out four frames, then backing it up. You would just do that a couple more times, but that's really the effect. That's as easy as it is. So I hope this helped you. If this video did help you, make sure to leave a like. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram at Austin Makes Films. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later. <laughs>